This thing is what I carried up in the attic with me when I was looking for bats. Bats in the belfry. Anyway, it's an old uh, persimmon tree. Kind of looks like a snake. I've been drying this limb out for a couple of years. I thought it would make some neat little yard art or something to carve on. But I've done nothing with it but use it for a billy club. But it does look a little bit like a snake. Today's vlog don't amount to a whole lot. I got a little bit of railroad memorabilia to share with you. Of sorts. Looking at some of the stuff I need to do to get caught up. I'm not going to bother my viewers every day with videos that are little odds and ends I do in the process of finishing my deck. But I'm going to do a vlog today. I was out here picking up this trash yesterday and found something of interest. This thing here was laying there in the dirt. It says Southern Railway. And what it is is a mud flap off of the back of an intermodal trailer. I remember the day I found this. I worked the pig yard at Emmon Yards. This was painted yellow, the Southern Railway was. Oh, John Deere going down the road. Anyway, you won't see any more of those things around anymore. It's dry rotted now. I used it for like a doormat at the base of my steps that went up onto the deck. A mud flap for a doormat is a pretty handy little idea. That one's all dry rotted and of no use or no value now. But you won't see any more Southern Railway mud flaps around. Let's get on the lawnmower and go out there and find my rake. I got some rocks here I need to pick up and clean up. My dog used to lay up here and wallow under this deck and dig big holes and he would lay in them. As a result, every time it rained, that dirt washed away. Plus, a lot of it settled. You can see on the wall here how far the dirt settled. It used to be that high. So, it was, you know, I had it pretty well landscaped. Then I got to look at this ledger board. Still pretty solid, but the ledger board that I'm going to reuse is going to be lower. It's going to be down here somewhere. And I'm hoping I can use these same holes. I'm going to soak these bolts up there, wedge anchors that are actually drilled into the concrete wall. Oh, that nut's still loose. I'm going to soak all these bolts with WD-40 in hopes of being able to reuse them. If not, I'll drill some new holes. Looks like I'd sank some nails right through my ledger board into the house. That wasn't none too smart. I'm gonna get on my lawnmower and go out here and find that rake. I know it's out here around the boat somewhere. If I don't get some dirt hauled in here, I'm just gonna go out to the back somewhere and bring a little bit of dirt at a time up here and with my lawnmower and pile it up onto that deck until I get it where I want. I raked up a little dirt and trash out here yesterday and picked up the rocks. YouTubers, I pulled out this old trimmer out of the garage. 
I haven't started it and I know 10 years. So the chances of it starting now are nil and void. But it ain't gonna kill me to pull that rope a few times. I dumped a little gas in it, although I'm sure it's futile. Maybe it's gonna fool me and start. But you know when I know the chances are slim and none. Just pull the rope and see what happens. Dry pull it a couple times. Carburetor's probably clogged up big time. Nah, that ain't gonna start. Let's see if. I can smell the raw gas going through it. It was worth a shot. Try it a couple more times. Well, I knew better than to try to start that booger bear. Well, now that I've dumped a little gas in it, I'm scared to put it back in the garage. It might leak in there. Let's park it up under here. Work on that another day. Take a look at my post hole digger. A friend of mine and, a, and also one of my viewers, David, asked me what these boards were for. Then he saw me loading them in the truck. And I'll show you. Not gonna do a lot of work out here today. 
set me up a little workstation here for when I am working. Just Jim Dandy. We will begin by taking this booger bear apart. Today I ponder the, the age old question. Which side to sharpen a post hole digger? Outside or inside? I'm going to say inside. That way it I don't think it really matters. We're going to sharpen it on the inside though. I'm not going to put a real sharp edge on it, but we got to do something beside that. Well, for better or worse, it's got an edge on it. It'll do till I hit a rock. Not sharp enough in the middle.
Okay. Let's close it up just a little bit. What are we going to close it on? I need an anvil. That'll work right there. Listen to that thunder. Not a whole lot of big difference on how I got it shaped, but I got them where I think it'll work a little better. working it that makes all the difference between night and day definitely easier to work it'll definitely work better thanks for tuning in to my vlog today it's P. Walpar saying y'all have a good day and look at them clouds Let's go get, go in. The rain is coming. Well, my friends, you would not believe. Ten minutes ago, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Look at them dark clouds coming there. We're definitely fixing to get some rain in Spain. It was thundering like crazy a minute ago. It finally quit thundering. But that thunder cloud's coming right on in here.
very froggy. You're getting wet out there. <laughs> <laughs>